Ghouls and Ghoulas, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you for goodness sakes. So let's do this. Yeah, yeah. There's no chance of you actually sleeping tonight. In a final attempt to guarantee a spot on the nice list, you decided to try to do some extra chores before midnight. Oh, great. This is gonna be like the last fucking game. I swear to God, if it is, I'm gonna shoot somebody. Not really. Well, the graphics just kind of suck. All right, well, I, I, oh, here we go. Do laundry, do the dishes, put away video games. Turn off all the electric candles. Take the trash to the garage, and what the fuck was that? So laundry first. Where's the fucking laundry room at? I got a flashlight? No way you're going down there at night. Pussy. Well, I definitely ain't doing that yet. I'm already scared. I ain't turning those off. You're gonna do dishes or do the fucking lot? I'm a little kid. At least this one ain't playing the same song over and over again. Oh yeah, I just went there. <laughs> I guess we're going upstairs. Alright. Looks like Elvis. Oh, we'll kick ya. The fuck? The hair. Righty. Door to your siblings' room. Definitely don't want to wake them up. I think that noise would wake them up. It'd wake me the fuck up. So we got that. Need one more trash. Why is everything so fucking flickery? Oh, gotta pick up the games. Somehow. Oscar loved math, but he also felt a need to somehow justify it by getting into trouble. Nothing serious, but Oscar still got grounded by his strict parents quite a bit. There was the one time you noticed Patty got mad at Oscar for not helping her in her homework as promised. Uh, with her homework as promised. He was grounded at the time. No friends, no phone. Patty ultimately flunked that class. How's it his fault? Maybe Patty shouldn't be so stupid. And Oscar vanished in early December that year. Why was Oscar punished for obeying his parents? What the fuck is this? Helping Patty would have resulted in less overall suffering suffering than sneaking out because Patty would not have flunked. That's her own goddamn fault. I'm gonna go with this one. Promise is a promise. Pick up your fucking video games, kid. What do we got here? It's December 5th. Okay, well that don't open. Well, where is the other garbage can? Count against you. Like a stain on the carpet. Probably a shadow. Am 
My voice is fucking with me today, that's why I'm using this voice changer. <sighs> that's scary, I'm so scared. Please help me. This is the kid's room. Alright, well, let's go in here. There's the other garbage can. Put all the trash. Time to head to the garage. Well, how about you do the fucking dishes first? Don't even tell me he's gonna ask me another stupid fucking question. Uh, it is. <sighs> Your shit and Greg had made up. And I always gave Greg a lot of grief about egging at one neighbor's car. Even after Greg confined and you both about how guilty he felt and how it was affecting his sleep. It all fell apart when Isaac got blamed for it and grounded. You know what? Fuck Isaac. Hannah told Greg he needed to make it right. Hannah even threatened to tell on Greg if he didn't. When she went missing, Greg began losing more than just sleep. But why was Hannah taken by Krampus? So Krampus is in this game. What? I shouldn't have waited for Isaac to get grounded. She should have acted immediately. Whatever. Covering for crimes is sometimes more damning, it seems. So like, yeah, don't... Don't do crimes, kids. Crimes are bad. Alright. Is this the garage? It is the garage. Empty candy wrapper reminds you of the school fundraiser you did once of Christy. What? The fucking hell. All well, the kids were going to get a small percentage of the total to boost motivation. So everyone went extra on it. But the extra you earned never showed up and seemed to be forgotten about. You later heard Christy was trusted by the teacher to distribute the extra earnings to your group. I'd really only heard about that when Dan Dana Dana told you they suspected Christy. Dana even called Christy out to one of the parents. Christy became shunned, but the money was still never found. Later that year around this time Dana went missing. You're guessing this was probably the situation that did it. Maybe Dana should have talked to Christy first because Explain herself, I give Christy a chance to help fix the situation and be saved from punishment. I would say... the first one? Don't know, and do not care. Making judgments without all the information leads to chaos. Hello? Hello? Who's there? It's certainly not Krampus. I'm a good boy. Turn up all the electric candles. So many chores, oh my god. Come home from work to do chores in a fucking game. Do the f oh my god, now I gotta do another question. Don't wanna do another question! <sighs> Looking at the socks, you suddenly think about something that happened to school years ago. Oh. My god, kid, just do your fucking chores. Brandon was a popular kid in class with Nancy and Mark. Always tagging along, reaping the benefits. One day, Brandon turned on everyone in class against Nancy. Even Mark turned against her. Eventually, it got bad enough that Brandon even started stealing Nancy's stuff. One time, it was her socks and shoes after gym class. Humiliated, Nancy had to walk back to class barefoot. Later, she was pursued by the teacher, who demanded to know where her shoes went. Nancy didn't want to be branded a snitch, possibly make things worse, so she lied! Nancy ended up going missing around Christmas. Krampus took her. She must have done something wrong, right? Must have been Nancy lying to her teacher. Why was it wrong? Lying showed disrespect to her teacher. I'm gonna say the first one, cause, you know, fuck the teacher. 
she placed pride over justice. I'm going to hell, but oh well. Me and Krampus will go there together. Two out of six. Three out of six. You know, I can count. I don't need you to fucking show me. Uh oh. Sounds like Krampus has arrived. Don't remember if any was in here or not. I imagine not. Yeah. Yeah, there's not in there. Is it probably upstairs then? Nope, oh, not in there either. <laughs> There we go. Five out of six. Six out of six. What the fuck? The ball force hoverboard is something you put on your Xmas list every year. It's expensive and always so hard to find, so you're not holding your breath. For the longest time, the only kid in school that ever managed to get one was Barb, and she let everyone know it was hers. She guarded it fiercely, so when her best friend mentioned that they saw Alex running around with her hoverboard, with Barb nowhere in sight, they thought it was strange. Your best friend later ran into Barb, but didn't say anything about it. They confessed to you that they didn't think it was any of their business. Your best friend went missing last year, and for 12 months now you haven't thought about anything else. Then why did you think about all the other shit? You know, with Nancy and all that. This was the incident that put him on the naughty list. What about it was so wrong? Maybe your best friend should have told Barb because... <laughs> uh, I want to say the first one. <sighs> Think every time you see your best friend's house through the window. Up. Oh, Krampus has arrived. So does that mean I have to answer the front door? Even though his parents are in bed? What do we have here? I cannot read it. Clean the basement. Well, I guess we're going down there anyway. I can't see shit. Oh, well. This. Pick that up, kid. I guess we're gonna open the gift. Maybe. Okay. From Krampus. Happy holidays. What? The motherfucking hell. That can't be it. Maybe it's fucking with me. It wasn't even fucking scary. Fuck you, Krampus. You piece of shit, I'll shoot you with my shotgun. Well, Gruzum, I guess that's it. That was fucking lame. I'm sorry. But I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, let's go.